quick video for you guys by request. I've been asked to show you how to chop up STL files within the computer uh, just to get them smaller. Maybe you've got a small print bed, maybe you want to chop them up, maybe it's just a bloody great big model. Either way, it's really simple. It's all using free software. So sit back, grab yourself a brew, and enjoy, man. I hope this is uh, hope this is helpful. I'm going to cover how to slice up an STL in Mesh Mixer. Uh, in case you've got a model that's far too big for your print bed, or you know maybe you want to cut the model up just to make it easier to assemble later. Really simple stuff, so let's get a model. Okay, here's my model. And I'm going to slice a cut straight down here. So I'm going to go over to Edit. I'm going to go to Plane Cut. And you can see a virtual plane so it comes out of thin air. Now, wherever you put this, determines where it's going to put the slice through the model. So I can just draw a line and it keeps everything on the top half and discards everything on the bottom half. So if I draw that line from the bottom to the top, this is the top half, this is the bottom half. That's great, but it's not very accurate. Now, our widgets down here give us much, much better control. So let's go back to plane cut and click and hold the quarter circle and you can free turn it. So we can try and get it to not very easy to get that exact. Now if you move your mouse out until it intersects this clock that's appeared, it constrains it to five degrees increments. So we can get it to exactly 90 quite simply. So we'll put our slice where we want, don't like it there, move it back a bit. And that looks pretty good to me. Now, back up in the plain cut dialog box, if we clicked accept now, it would throw away this shadow part here. We don't want that, we want to keep both parts. So we click on keep both. And remeshed fill, this is basically telling us it's going to put mesh on each side of the slice, which is perfect. So we'll accept that. Now we go back over to the edit submenu and we go separate shells. That brings up our object browser and it brings up both halves of our model. ready for us to do whatever we're doing it. We're just going to export these so we can get them straight on the print bed and quite simply click the export button. So this is call up whatever you will, ruin 1A, save, select the other half, click export, we're going to call that ruin 1B save that. Now if we go to import, append basically means add to what I have in case you didn't know. So we'll just full on replace what's on the bed. And I've no idea where I've exported those two. Let me have a look. Desktop mesh mixer STLs. Right. Sorry about that. So we go to replace, we find where we've Next mix of STLs, where we've hidden them, and we'll call in rune 1A. And there we have it, all ready to be sliced up. is back to normal right i hope that helps i hope you found that useful anything else you need to know just let me know and if i can i'll bash another quick video for you guys